Hi, Chris Cole again. Uh, today we're over here at the Campus Recreation Center at NKU to talk a little bit about going to the gym. And uh, I know a lot, for a lot of people that's sort of a daunting, scary concept. You, you want to get there, you want to lose weight, you want to get healthier. But going to the gym is just can be a little intimidating. But I, I'm here today to tell you, you shouldn't be intimidated, first of all. The gym is a cool place to hang out. Uh, I've actually met a lot of friends here. Everybody here is really nice. I know when you first start out, everybody seems healthier than you. Uh, and it can be intimidating, but don't be, uh, don't be afraid to walk up to people, introduce yourself. It's, it's like anywhere else. Everybody here is friendly, and, and a lot of people, you know, they just want to help. And so they can show you how to use machines. They can give you tips on things you can do while you're here. Now, I'm, I'm going to give you a few tips, nothing too specific, but uh, some things that helped me out when I first started coming to the gym and things that can make your life a little, a little easier as you start uh, spending more time here. The first one is stretch. You've probably heard that before and it's kind of common sense, but your body isn't used to the kinds of things you do while you're at the gym. And so it's a really good idea when you get here to stretch out. Uh, I would spend at least 10 or 15 minutes stretching out before you start working out. Uh, use common sense. If you're going to be doing something that requires your legs, if you're going to be on the bike or anything like that, stretch, make sure you stretch out your calves, stretch out your hamstrings, your hips. If you're going to be doing something that involves upper body, stretch your arms out and your chest and your shoulders too. Uh, it'll, just, it'll just make the workout itself easier. And when you're done working out, stretch again. Spend another 10 or 15 minutes stretching. That'll, you'll find that'll really reduce the soreness that you feel after you're at the gym. A lot of people will think about you know, going to the gym and they think about how sore they get. It's because they're not stretching properly before and after. Uh, I found that once I started stretching properly, my aches and pains that were associated with coming to the gym were really reduced and it made life a lot easier for me. Okay, once you're here and you're actually looking around, you'll see there's a lot of different machines. It can be a little bit uh, intimidating almost. There's so many different machines, but don't let that intimidate you. There's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of different ways to, to approach working out and losing weight. And uh, for me, when I first started, it was the recumbent bike. That was about all I could do. Uh, nothing else felt comfortable for me. So the first couple, three months that I was here, I literally just did stretching and did recumbent bike. And so my guess, my tip would be do whatever you feel comfortable with. If you're only comfortable walking on the treadmill, then walk on the treadmill. That's certainly healthier than sitting on the couch at home. Uh, as you, you'll find that as you do more of that, as you do more of the treadmill, you'll, your body will get stronger and you'll be able to do more and more. You'll be able to go longer. You'll be able to do it at a higher incline. Uh, you, you'll be able to do other machines that you felt you couldn't do at the beginning. For me, like I said, it was a recumbent bike for a long time. I finally felt comfortable getting on a treadmill and uh, could only walk kind of slowly. Uh, my knees kind of bothered me a little bit at the beginning. And if, if your knees bother you, I suggest consider walking on a treadmill at a decline. Uh, you can do that at the machines here at NKU, and it, it really helps on your knees. But uh, besides that, you know, as you do it more and more, you'll feel more comfortable. You'll feel more comfortable sort of transitioning to other machines as well. Now, when I, the first time I did the elliptical, I thought I was going to die. I was able to do it maybe three minutes, and it was probably the worst three minutes of my life. And I thought I would probably never get on that machine again. But now I'm to the point where I can do the elliptical at, at its maximum incline, uh, pretty much maximum resistance, and I can do it for an hour. Uh, and it's a great workout, but uh, I can do it because your body gets stronger and you, you, your heart gets healthier and you, your cardio improves so quickly that uh, don't let the machines intimidate you. Once you get here, start slow. You know, another tip is always listen to your body. Uh, there's a difference between feeling a good workout burn and actually feeling pain. If you're feeling pain, back off of whatever it is you're doing. And pain is your body's way of telling you you're doing something it doesn't like. And uh, so if you, if you get lightheaded or dizzy on any of the stuff you're doing, back it down a bit. The worst thing you can do is hurt yourself and then not be able to come to the gym for two weeks because you pushed it a little too hard. So don't let that early enthusiasm, don't let your excitement uh, be detrimental to you. Take, go at your own pace, uh, go at the pace that feels best for you, but don't do it too much too quickly. And uh, brings me back to my, my first point, stretching. I think stretching is really important. It, it prevents injuries. It keeps your body limber and keeps you able to do the things that you want to do while you're here at the gym. For those of you that don't feel comfortable at the gym, I, I certainly understand that. There are, just keep in mind, there are a thousand different things you can do throughout the day that don't require coming to the gym, but that keep you more active from parking further away from your building when you get here in the morning to taking the stairs. Uh, to playing with your kids when you get home, to walking in the park. There's a thousand different ways to stay active. 
And uh, at the end of the day, that's what, you know, that's what this is about. That's what the gym is about. That's what being healthy is about, is just leading an active, healthy lifestyle. And uh, that's what the Lean and Green campaign is for. And hopefully today's uh, session gave you a few tips and a few uh, pieces of encouragement. You can do this. I was able to do it. The gym is not a scary place. I love it. I'm here just about every day now. And uh, hope to see you here.